Last year in Madrid, Roger Federer won his fourth Masters Series title of the year as he marched confidently towards the end of the season. Fast forward 12 months and after clinching his fourth consecutive US Open title last month, little has changed. I felt a lot of pressure after Wimbledon, after Rafa defending all his points you know, on the clay court season, made another uh, Wimbledon run you know, all the way to the finals and basically I had all the points to defend and he had not that many. So I definitely felt the pressure but um, I always know that if you want to stay number one in the world it's not enough just to, uh, to play decent, you've got to win the tournaments and this is what I did again, you know, played the finals in Montreal, won Cincinnati, won the US Open and that all just helps to maintain good rhythm, you know, and you actually forget about maybe a few hiccups you have during the year and uh, it, it's crucial to win big events, you know, and you always got to push yourself forward and I'm on a great run, especially on, on Grand Slam levels, you know, I've got 12 now and I hope we can keep that run going as well next year and again. This time around though, the world number one has done it all without a coach after ending his relationship with Tony Roach back in May. Since you know, split with Tony, I've only played finals or better, and that's a, that's a good thing for me anyway. But uh, I don't feel like I've improved or you know gotten worse. I've been able to maintain a good level of play, you know. And important is just to be well organized too for the practice sessions, you know. When I'm away from from the matches, that I have you know maybe my Davis Cup captain helping me out, my my conditioning coach who I've been with for a very long time already, and you know maybe get some hitting partners you know you just have to be maybe a bit better organized than when you have your, your your coach who you usually travel with Federer confirmed his place in the Masters Cup in Shanghai a long time ago but despite his three Grand Slams this year the 26 year old still has a fight on to be the world number one at the end of the year it is the short term goal obviously because I don't have I think the number one position locked up yet you know I have points to defend here next week and then as well in Shanghai my only opportunity is Paris to really make points so hopefully I can play decent tennis you know win a couple of events and then defend my number one position and yeah so I think it's going to be an exciting next five weeks because I've I think four tournaments in five weeks that's so going to be tough. He'll not be giving up his Madrid crown without a fight and you wouldn't bet against him being top dog come the end of the year. Fedra's quest for greatness is set to continue.